is Introduction to Theater, and the idea is that the children get a feeling of what it's like to be in a show, all right? So then, if, when they get into higher grades, if they want to try out for shows, they can do that. But this is very simple. Each one has a few lines, some only have a very few lines, some have more, and we hope that they will be in character. They each have a character part. I would like to introduce you to these characters because many of you do not remember Romeo and Juliet from your school days, even though you've heard about it. So I will now introduce the characters, but no applause because they haven't done anything yet. <laughs> you will applaud at the end of the show, hopefully. So let's have, uh, first of all, Romeo. This is Romeo, all right, stand over here, Romeo. And Juliet, please. And may I have her mother and father. All right. <laughs> now, this is the Cabernet family, right? Right? Cabernet family, all right. You're over there. All right. Now we need Shoot. Romeo's mother. <laughs> Romeo's mother. No, All right. Miss Waller. Uh, mm -hmm. Now Miss Waller. That's Lady Montagu. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Montagu. <laughs> Every town in Italy has a mayor, and they, it's usually a prince. In Romeo and Juliet, he is called the prince. So this is the prince, all right, stay right here. And with the prince is always a soldier. So soldier, come right here. Wherever the prince goes, the soldier goes. And then we have, uh, we have Romeo's best friend, Mercutio. This is a good friend. He's always with Romeo, wherever Romeo goes. And we have uh, an enemy, an enemy from the from Juliet's family. This is Juliet's brother. His name is Cousin. Oh, I'm sorry, Cousin, that's right. So you're with Juliet's family, all right. And then we have, uh, we have Count Paris, who Juliet's mother would like her to marry. And this is Count Paris, but we'll see what happens. And now we have Friar Lawrence. Friar Lawrence is the the monk in town who everyone comes to when they have problems. All right, you will see. They will all come to Friar Lawrence with their problems. So now you see all the characters. I want them in character. They are now in a play, in character. Speak slowly so all these people can hear what you have to say and project so in the back of the room they'll hear every word. All right, off stage, please. Now, the first scene is in the town. There has already been a skirmish, if you read Romeo and Juliet. Remember back in 1600 when this was written, families hated each other. And these two families hate each other. Romeo's family and Juliet's family hate each other. And there had been a skirmish already. So we have on stage, we have the prince, and we have the young men who were in this skirmish. Soldier, go with your prince. We have the young men who were in the skirmish. They were already in it before. All right, and now we will have, the play will begin, and we will have the prince speak. Hear the sentence of your new prince by the... Old Capulet and Montague have thrice disturbed the quiet of our streets. If you ever disturb them again, your lives shall pay the forfeit of the peace. And Lady Montague is looking for her son, and he is looking very sad over there. We don't know why. Go and over and look at him. And what do you say? Oh, where is Romeo? Saw you him today. Many a morning he there been seen, with tears augmenting the fresh morning dew. Very good. Now that's the end of that scene. All right, Romeo is looking very sad. We wonder why. 
Romeo and his friend Mercutio are now going to speak. At this ancient feast of Capulet, steps the fair Rosaline on the lovers and all admired beauty to Verona. One time then, my love, the all-seeing sun never saw her match since first of all begun. Not go along and no sight to be shown, but to rejoice in splendor of my own. So he's going to go to the feast at the Capulet family house, uh, even though he still is sad because he just broke up with Rosaline, and we'll see what happens now at the feast. All right, but first at the Capulet's house, we have Lady Capulet at the vanity table. <laughs> Lady Capulet is eight years old, believe it or not. Maybe. <laughs> she is the mother of Juliet, eight years old. Nurse, where's my daughter? Call her forth to me. I bade her come. What, Juliet? She's not 14. That was the prettiest thing, and I might love to see three married ones. I have my wish. <laughs> Tell me, daughter Juliet, how stands your disposition to be married? It is an honor that I dream not of. Well, think of marriage now. Thou, tell Pierre, seeks you for his love. Seek, speak briefly. Can you like a Pierre's love? I look to like, if looking like you move. But no more deep will I dart mine eye than your consent to give strength to make it fly. Go, girls. Sleep happy nights, two happy days. All right, now we're going back to scene two. Sorry. Lord Capulet is going to speak to Count Paris. My child is yet a stranger to the world. She hath not seen the change of 14 years. Younger than she, our happy mother is made. This night I hold an old custom feast. Where to I have invited many a guest. Come, go with me. All right, so Lord Capulet has just said having a big feast tonight. So the next is going to be. is going to be the ball at the Capulet family home. And we have Lady Montague is not invited. But she will, she will be nearby, spying on them. And the rest all in masks. This is a masked ball. And they are all at the masked ball. All right, everybody come. Little groups, little groups. Lord Capulet speaks. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Enter Romeo and Mercutio, masked. They're not invited, but they're coming to the party. What lady is that? I know not. Well, she just teaches the torches to burn bright. The beauty hangs upon the cheek of night. It's like a rich jewel. Did my heart love till now? I never saw true beauty till this night. By his voice, be a Montague, to strike him dead, I hold it not a sin. Wherefore, stormy sound? Uncle, this is our foe, a Montague. Young Romeo, is it? Left him alone, grown a brag to him. I do not endure him. Here's your capulet, a dear account. My life is my first debt. Who is he that's now going out the door? His name is Romeo, he's a Montague, the only son of your great enemy. My only love sprung from my only hate. Good. End of scene. Good. That was good. Okay. Next scene is the Capulet Villa. Oh. <laughs> Now Romeo is taken with Juliet, and he comes to visit her in her garden. But soft, 
what light through yonder window breaks is east and through the of the sun. She speaks and she says nothing. Romeo, oh Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Or, if thou wilt not, be but sworn, my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. For what's in a name? That which we call a rose by, by any other name would still smell as sweet. Oh, blessed, blessed night. I am a fear being in night. All is but a dream. Too flattering sweet to be substantial. Sweet Montague, be true. Stay but a little. Good night. Good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow that I must say good night to Lithy Morrow. Very good. End of scene. Next scene is the Montague Villa. On stage, Lady Montague sits at her vanity table. Enter Romeo, coming to speak to his mother. Mother, I've dreamt a dream tonight. Talk of dreams, which are the children of an idle brain, and more inconstant than the winds. I fear some consequence, that hanging in the stars shall barely begin this state. <laughs> End of scene. Very good. At the monastery, now we have Friar Lawrence. And people in trouble come to Friar Lawrence and tell him their trouble. Good morrow, Father. Benedicite. My heart's dear love is set on the fair daughter of rich Capulet. This I pray that thou intend to marry us today. Holy St. Francis. For this alliance may so happy prove to turn your household to rank yours to your love. Come, come with me and we will make short work. For by your leaves you will not stay alone until thy holy church incorporates two or one. End of scene. Now, Friar Lawrence has a plan, a plan for Juliet so that she can stay with her Romeo. Now we're back out on a, in a public place again. And we have the young men, and of course, some of them hate each other. And Romeo, Tybalt, and Mercutio. And Tybalt says, Turn and draw. Mercutio's dead. Romeo has slain Tybalt of the Capulet family. Romeo is bad. Romeo is banned from Verona. End of scene. Very good. So Romeo has killed Juliet's cousin. <laughs> the next scene is Juliet's room. Juliet sits at the vanity, and her mother comes in and stands beside her. Good night. Get thee to bed and rest, for thou hast me. Tomorrow you will pay us right. Farewell. God knows when we shall meet again. I have a cold, faint thrills. Thrills through my veins. Is there no pity sitting in the clouds that sees into the bottom of my grave and to the bottom of my grief? Oh, how will these be prevented? My husband is on earth. He's banished, he's slain. Or oh, as good as it were. I must go to the friar to make confession. This is why I'm redone. I'll to the friar go to know his remedy. And if all else fail, myself of power. End of scene. Now we're back at the monastery. On stage, Friar Lawrence. Juliet's coming for help. 
She wants to be with her Romeo. Juliet, tired, you know thy grief. Mercutio slain by thy cousin Tybalt. Thy cousin Tybalt slain by, by Romeo. Thy beloved Romeo banished from Verona. And you are to wed Count Paris in the morrow. Oh, I long to die, and I cannot marry Paris. I am wed to Romeo. I must to Romeo go. Hold, daughter. I do spy some kind of hope. Take thee remedy. Asleep you may go to Romeo. End of scene. Next scene is in Juliet's room. Juliet stands looking at the sleep potion. Romeo, this do I drink to thee. comes in to check if she's asleep. Come, is thy bride ready to go to church? Count Paris has thought long to see this woman's face. <gasps> and so Lady Capulet also wants to know if Juliet is ready for the wedding. What noise is here? Oh me, oh me, my child, my only life. Juliet, arrive, look up, or I will die with thee. Child, oh child, my soul, and not my dead heart thou. Alack, my child is dead, dead, my joys are buried. End of scene. Now, to narrate and tell you what happened, we don't have all that you will see in the movie when you watch the movie of Romeo and Juliet. But Friar Lawrence had sent a letter to Romeo telling him what he had done, that Juliet was in a deep sleep, but Romeo never got the letter. Oh. So therefore, when the word gets out, everyone in town hears that Juliet is dead. And now we see on stage, we see at the, at the uh, cemetery, we have all the dead people. Mercutio was killed in the sword fight. It's all play, guys, don't worry. Tybalt, who was killed in the sword fight. And Juliet, who was in a deep sleep. And Romeo hears about it and comes and thinks that, and Count Paris thinks that she's dead. Sweet flower, with flower thy vial that I strew. Oh, woe, thy canopy is dust and stones. Stop, vile Montague, I do, I do apprehend thee. Scold me, for thou must die. I must indeed. The word has come to me that my Juliet is dead. Therefore came I hither to die. Be gone! If thou be merciful, lady of Juliet. Ah, dear Juliet, my that is so fair. Oh, my love, my wife, thus, with an everlasting rest, I said I died of a kiss. Romeo? What's this? Poison? There, rest and let me die.
give me thy hand. I shall raise her statue in pure gold, true and faithful Juliet. Some shall be pardoned and some punished, for never was a story of more woe than of this of Juliet and her Romeo. The end.